when Badger Claw snuck into the sweat house to see what other braves did inside, he felt scared that he would be discovered by the shaman and punished. When Badger Claw thought it, about what it would be like by himself in the mountains for three moons, he felt nervous and scared. He knew he would have to survive without the help of his grandmother and his friends. When Badger Claw was alone in the mountain, especially at night time, he felt lonely and was afraid that Ultra Tip might try and kill him. When Badger Claw found Little Silver Tip, he felt happy because he was no longer alone and he found a friend. When Badger Claw finally killed Old Silvertip, he felt happy and proud. When Badger Claw was made a brave, he also felt happy and proud. He showed that he could protect his family and friends from Old Silvertip, and also help them find water where there wasn't any left. When I was reading this book, I also felt nervous that Badger Claws was going to be killed by Old Silver Tip when he was in the mountains by himself. When Badger Claws was aiming his arrow at the dear mother, I felt nervous that Badger Claws was going to kill him. This was my least favorite part of the book because I felt sad for the deer and its fawn. I was glad that Badger Claw didn't kill the dear mother. When Badger Claw was made a brave, they also felt happy for him. This was my favorite part of the book. It made me think, could I be as brave as Badger Claw if I were faced with those same challenges? Badger Claws and Little Silver Tip were both alike and different. They were both alike because they each had lost their parents and would have been on their own in the mountains. They were also alike because they both needed a friend in the wilderness. Little Silver Tip needed someone to care for, and Badger Claws needed a friend to keep him company. Badger Claws and Little Silver Tip had a lot of differences since one was a person and one was a raccoon. But they were different in other ways too. Badger Claws could have found food and shelter for himself in the mountains without Little Silvertip. But without his mother, Little Silvertip couldn't have stayed alive in the mountains.